Hello, welcome to the video for how do I use a game instance. So here's our quick example here. We deal damage to our player. If we load up our next map, you'll notice that the damage is reset. We deal damage again, load the map, it's still reset. So let's go ahead and deal damage this time and set our health value. This is using our game instance. Next time we load the map, our health is reset, but if we get our health value, we can get our last saved health value. Do a little more damage, set it, load the next map, get it again, back down to 40. That is using our game instance, which is persistent across the entire gameplay. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to use that now. So, game instance. It is unique, like I've stated. There is one game instance that's created when the game starts, and then that is destroyed when the game ends. It is inside your project settings in the maps and mode section at the bottom you have your game instance class by default it will be game instance which is created with the engine i have gone ahead and created a custom one called generic game instance and i will show you how to create one of those now game instance is simply a blueprint of the game instance parent class so we'll go to blueprint we will create game instance and you'll notice under object we have game instance go ahead and select we'll name this my new game instance and that's it we've created a new one if we open it up you'll find your familiar blueprint interface and you can create variables functions macros anything you'd like to create inside of here this is basically a blueprint that is created when the project starts and it is persistent while you are playing the entire time and it will not get destroyed between level loads level loads so i'll go ahead and delete that since we will be using my custom game instance all this game instance has is two variables one for name and one for health and we're going to go ahead and use that now so if we go into our first map this one's pretty simple all i'm doing is loading up a UMG interface and displaying it on the screen. Our UMG interface simply has a few buttons and some health text. Now what we are doing is when we deal damage, our health value that we care about is stored inside of our player. We have our little generic player here and they have a variable called health. It makes sense to try to store things with the appropriate thing. For example, ammo, store it with a weapon health, player's name, maybe some statistics, you could store it with the player. That way they're unique to that player. If you have a multiplayer game, you want to keep it on the player. Um, perhaps you have walls and they're destructible. Maybe you want the health value stored on the wall. So it's, it's best to keep those values and variables on the actual object itself. So since we have our character and our character has a health value, that's what we want to monitor. So in our button damage, basically, I am getting the player's character's health, subtracting 5 from it, and then going and setting it again. Nothing abnormal. This is just an example, so a lot of this stuff is, you know, it, it's more than it needs to be. You could easily make this into a macro or a custom function to deal damage. You could actually, the appropriate thing to do would be to actually tell the player they took damage and have it subtract. But for example, since we're just using an interface, we're just simply going to deal with it directly from the interface. So we deal damage, the player loses health. Now, the keys on here are the get health and the set health. So set health is probably the one we want to deal with first. Setting health is pretty simple. I'm getting our game instance. You can use this from any blueprint. Our game instance is global. I'm casting it to my generic game instance because we need to make sure we have the correct one. And then I am getting the player's health and setting in my generic game instance what the player's health value is. So now I have stored in this universal game instance the player's health at this current moment. For my example, obviously I'm just setting it when I click the button, but for example, when you're about to load up the next map, that's when you would offload all of your things you wish to save to your game instance. You hit your map load point, maybe you throw up a little screen for loading, you offload all of your unique player information or anything unique to that map into your game instance if you want it saved to the next one and then you go ahead and load the next map. Now after you've loaded the next map you want to go ahead and pull everything 
out of your game instance. So I do the same thing. I get my game instance, cast it to my generic version. I grab the health out of there, and then I set the health where I want to, which in this case is the player's health. That's it. That's all we need to do. All I'm doing down here on the map load is simply loading the different maps for my example so we can see the variables reset. Um, and as you saw, when I ran the example, right now the player character has 100 health. I deal damage to it. The player character now has 60 health. I hit load next map. All of my data is gone from the first map. The second map loads up. By default, the player has 100 health, and it's going to show 100 health. Well, you know, obviously that's not what we wanted. That's why we're using the game instance. Let's go and tweak that a little bit. Let's go into our framework here. Let's go ahead and make a new one called construct. And basically, whenever this UMG is created, we construct this UMG and this event fired. Let's go ahead and find our get health, which is right here. And we'll copy this over. And we'll just have it basically automatically get the player's health from the game instance whenever we construct this UMG. Now let's go ahead and our load down here. Let's find our set health. Let's copy this. And right here, let's pull this out. We will go ahead and put one here and put one here. Like I said, this is not this is not the appropriate of doing this. But for example purposes, I'm going ahead and just you know modifying this slightly. We'll pull this into here. We'll pull this into here. And we'll take the second one, pull this into here, and pull this into here. So all I've done is made it where when I'm loading the next map, I'm automatically saving the player's health to our game instance. And when I am creating this new user interface widget, I'm pulling the player's health out of the game instance and setting it to the player. So now when we run, oh, we have zero health, so that's not really going to help. Our game instance starts off with zero health. So that's kind of an issue the first time we run this. So let's go in here. We'll go to our game instance. We'll go to our health. Let's set our default value to 100. So we start with 100 health and run it again. There we go. Deal damage, deal damage, load the next map, and there we go. We're at 50 health. Deal some more damage, load the next map, we're at 50 health. And there you go. That's how you use the game instance. That's what it's for. We've gone ahead and had it manually set, and then I modified a little bit, and now it automatically sets between maps. If there's any questions or any comments, please feel free to send them below.